The Florida A&M Rattlers took a visit to the Bayou in Baton Rouge in a critical SWAC matchup across divisions, with Southern in the West and FAMU in the East. None of that matters to these rivals who were brought back together with FAMU's joining the SWAC in 2021. Southern coach Eric Dooley was watchful as he prepared to face coach Willie Simmons. Quarterback Harold Blood was locked in in warm-up. FAMU's Jeremy Musa was getting ready with the SWAC East leading Rattlers who are undefeated in conference play. The Rattlers rolled into A.W. Mumford Stadium. But the Jaguars were like, this is our house. FAMU will win the coin toss and defer. On the first drive, Blood hits Cassius Allen for this big game. Musa would connect to Marcus Riley on this crossing route and he does the rest with his big run after catch. After a punt, the Jags offensive line was ready to move some pavement. The first play of the drive was stuffed by the FAMU defense, but them Southern o linemen split the defense open for Gary Quarles Jr. who got a big game. The Jags would come right back to Quarles again on the same play who took this one to the red zone. Corey Russell would power his way over the goal line to give Southern a 6-0 lead. Kicking would be an Achilles heel for Southern all day and this extra point was just the beginning. Still, the Jaguars took the early lead 6-0. The Southern fans were feeling it. Back on offense, Quarles barely had time to breathe before this Rattler crashed the party. FAMU back on offense would utilize their big tight end, Kamari Young, who was the game's possession receiver. He takes this pass and makes a solid run after catch. Musa starts carving up the Southern defense, completing 31 of 53 passes. This one hits Marcus Riley in stride. He then comes back to Jamari A. Sheree with his short pass, but KDOT takes it from there. The FAMU offensive line gets the surge needed for Jacquez Yant to power over to tie the score at six apiece. Cameron Gillis nails the extra point giving the Rattlers a seven to six lead. Gillis' perfection was one of the keys to the Rattlers win. Back on offense, running back Terrell Jennings makes a big run off the left side. The Rattlers go for the trickery, but it backfired as Jennings' pass sailed over Nick Dixon and into the waiting arms of Jordan Carter. The Rattler defensive interior began to stiffen. Quarles started finding less and less room to run. Blood would hit a dagger as he hit a streaking Chandler Whitfield for a 72-yard bomb. It gave Southern a 12-7 lead over the Rattlers. Just when it looked like Southern might be gaining some momentum, FAMU blocks the extra point and Kendall Bowler scoops it up and returns it 95 yards for the two-point score. That made the score 12-9 in favor of the Jags. FAMU would be unable to get a first down and Trey Wilhoyt had to punt it away. The high kick was muffed by Chandler and the Rattlers recovered in striking distance. A few plays later, Musa would get a bootleg out to the right and hit a wide open Kobe Gross for the touchdown. With the Gillis extra point, FAMU took a 16-12 lead.
Halftime means the Southern University Human Jukebox takes the field. With a tribute to gospel, SU Band Director Kedrick Taylor had the fans in the spirit. In the second half, Quarles found nowhere to run, but this Southern fan was getting his steps in. Neither team would score until the fourth quarter. Back on offense, Musa rolls out and hits Kamara Young again, who has a nice run after catch and is flipped in the end. After driving down to the FAMU one-yard line, Russell takes it over the goal line to put the Jaguars back up at 18-16. The Rattlers would not go quietly, though. Musa is spot on with this pass to Nick Dixon. FAMU wasn't able to punch it in the end zone, but Gillis remained perfect on the day, nailing this 44-yard field goal to tie the game with 7 minutes and 21 seconds remaining. With Musa carving up the secondary, he hits a short pass to Jamari Gassett, who makes a defender miss. The Jag will rough him up after the catch, and Simmons was furious at the refs. Musa would go right back to Gassett, and he would take it to the house to break the tie and give the Rattlers a 25-19 lead. FAMU VP Tiffany Dawn Sykes was ecstatic on the goal line. Gillis' final extra point made the final score 26-19. The Rattlers got the best of this one, but because of the way the divisions are set up, and with several upsets on the day, there is absolutely a possibility that these two teams could meet again this season.